Live from the inner city, it's East Hollywood Square with Ike Turner, Eartha Kitt, Garrett Morris, Isabel Sanford, Gary Coleman, Video Star, Antonio Hungry Bear Fargus, Esther Rowe, and Skeeter. And now, the host of East Hollywood Squares, Peter Marshall. Thank you, Kenny. Welcome to East Hollywood Squares. Hello, Star. Good to see you. Uh, you know Susan here and Henry, our players, and uh, I want to show you folks at home who our secret square is for this first game. So, Susan, you're going to start it all. You uh, won the toss backstage, so pick a star and good luck. Okay, I'll take Ike Turner, please. Ike, how's it going? What the problem is? I said, uh, how are you? Yeah, back at you with a baseball bat. Uh, Ike, listen carefully. How long? How long does it take to whip eggs for a souffle? Peter, is that you? Can you shut your damn mouth? Uh, uh, you listen carefully. The question refers to whipping eggs, Ike. Oh, I thought you meant whipping ass. Okay, uh, look here. Uh, all right, Peter, that's right, that's right. Well, yeah, first of all, you got to begin with the good eggs, then the bad eggs. First, you got to get all up in here. Now, once you up in there, you got to bust it open. Crack it, you know what I'm saying. Oh, crack! Who said something about crack? No, man, that ain't no crack. That was uh, baking soda, man. I'm off the narcotic. And Tina, if you're watching, call me, girl. I got a tune for you. All right, Tina, I got to say about three minutes. Three minutes, Susan. I'll agree. No, no, I'm sorry. That's incorrect. It's about, uh, it's about nine. Nine minutes a night. Get some help, please. Uh, okay, uh, Henry, uh, pick a star. I'm going to go with Eartha Kitt. Sure. Eartha, in the movie Batman Returns, what box office star played Catwoman? Well, Peter, I hate to be catty, yeah. But I, uh, I do say that, after all, I should have played the part. That Michelle Pfeiffer is just not half the actress I am. She was a catastrophe, yeah. <laughs> just as I thought, a hairball. I believe the answer is, uh, her answer is Michelle Pfeiffer. I'll agree. Correct. X gets the square. All right, Susan, your turn. Okay, I'll go with Isabel Sanford. Isabel, dear, nice to see you. Yes, George. Uh, no, 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 Isabel, it's, it's Peter here. Oh, I'm sorry, Mr. That's Bentley. Right. According to the Food and Drug Administration, what's part of a well-balanced breakfast? <laughs> oh, that's simple. Cornflakes, toast, whiskey, cigarettes. <laughs> Perhaps that fur ball she just coughed up. <laughs> And a hint of schnapps. Isabel, girl, you sound kind of cute. Can you take a punch? <laughs> well, Peter, I'm going to have to disagree. Uh, correct. Circle gets the square. Put the circle up there, Isabel. There you are. You know, we've been playing the game here all evening. We haven't even heard from our good friend, uh, Gary Coleman. Gary, how you doing up there? How you doing, Peter? Nice. Uh, good, good. You see that? Tell us, uh, what have you been up to? Well, I just finished my new book. What you talking about? I'm not Webster. Uh, you're thick here, I mean. I'm thinking I'm going to go with my favorite actor, Antonio Vargas. Uh, certainly. That's it. That is the secret square. All right, here we go for the game. We go to Huggy Bear. Uh, what were George Washington's false teeth made of? I don't know nothing, Starsky, but the word on the street says that Beretta's got a bird. And there's stuff coming in on Pier 4. You know I had goldfish in my stacks. Uh, all right. Uh, do, you, do you agree or disagree? I'll agree. Uh, terribly sorry. You should have disagreed. Yeah. Uh, Susan, well, you can win it all right here, okay? Oh, this is so exciting. I'm going to take Huggy Bear to win. This is for the win. Antonio, what do Georgia, Florida, and the Carolinas have in common. Hey, 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 hutch, hutch, hutch. I don't know nothing about nothing, man. But all I know is word is on the street that they all down with a pimp named Silky. I disagree. Circle gets the square in the game. Congratulations, Susan. Yeah. Looks like you're a new champion. Uh, Peter, excuse yeah. me, but nobody asked me anything up here. I'm wondering why 
Nobody asked me nothing. Cause you're too damn loud, that's why. <laughs> you, who you calling loud? Your crow crack smoking. <laughs> Boy, you better shut up. I'll poke you as like you was Tina. I'll, I'll perm your curl. I'll stick my foot in your behind and, and kick you to hell and back. <laughs> I'll tell you. Did someone say Helen? <laughs> Well, that does it for this session of the East Hollywood Squares. Thank you, stars. Thank you, players. Thank you, audience. And join us next time for more fun on the East Hollywood Squares. Bye-bye. Live from the inner city, it's East Hollywood Squares with George Foreman, Spike Lee, Dr. Dre, Robert Guillaume, Fred Perry, Little Richard, Jack A., Sherry Belafonte, a guy from the OJs and one of the pips. And now, the master of East Hollywood Squares, Peter Marshall! Thank you, Louise. Welcome once again to the East Hollywood Squares. Hello, stars! Oh, hey. Nice to see each and every one of you. Let us show our home audience the secret square. Now, I want you to meet our players. You've met uh, Becky before. She's a shiatsu manipulator from uh, Laughlin, Nevada. Welcome back, Becky. Thank and you. and Daryl over here, he runs a singles complex in Canoga Park, California. Is that right? Yeah. Now, backstage, you won the game of one potato, two potatoes with Daryl. Uh, Darrell, is that right? Darrell. Yeah. Uh, you'll, you'll start. So, uh, good luck, and uh, I'll pick a star. Yeah, I'll go with George Foreman, please, Peter. George, good to see you. How's it going? Say, uh, George, you fought many of these, but how many rounds are there in a title fight? Ooh, Peter, you know that... Well, there's round steak and there's ground round, and there's so many round tasty things. Oh, I'm gonna have to go with a cheeseburger. That's round. Cheeseburger. What do you think? I'll agree. No, I'm sorry, Darrell. That uh, that cheeseburger doesn't cut it. In fact, it's uh, it's pretty bizarre that the man would even say that. And you would agree, Becky. It's your turn. So I'll pick a star. I'll go with Spike Lee. Hi. Spike, congratulations on your recent marriage. Here's your question. How many days a week do newlyweds hit it? <laughs> well, uh, Peter. Mm. Peter. Yes. Peter. Mm. How many times do newlyweds hit it? You mean, mm. uh. You mean, how many times does she got to have it? Huh? You mean, how many times do we do the right thing? Huh? How many times does X mark the spot? <laughs> huh? She gets a Spike Lee joint like, uh, five times a week. Uh. Spike says... Five times a week. <laughs> Ew, I'll disagree. Good choice. What do you get? Get out of here and disagree. Get out of here. What are you, what are you agreeing on? Get out of here agreeing. Uh, Doral, your pick. Yeah, I'll go with uh, the lovely Jack A. Hey. Jack A. Hey, Peter. Good to see you. Good to see you. Uh, what would you say is the most worn out spot in your house? Uh, I have to say my G spot. Uh. She says her cheese spot. Uh, I, I agree. That's right. And turn against the square. Thank you. It's your turn to choose. Uh, yes, I'll go with Robert Guillaume. Bob Guillaume, star of Donald's and Benson. Great show. Benson. Okay. And Alex Haley's queen. What did the butler say to the boss? Kiss my blank ass. <laughs> That's right. And X gets the square. Uh, Darrell, what star will it be now? Uh, I think I'll go with uh, Fred Berry. Fred Berry, rerun from the classic What's Happening. What's new, Fred? Not a darn thing. That's why I am here shooting East Hollywood Squares. Yes. Uh, so, Fred, now listen carefully. Very important question here. What's small, purple? and should be examined by a doctor? Hmm. I'd have to say... Prince! <laughs> Prince. Small, purple, and should be examined by a doctor. Uh, uh, well, do you agree or disagree? I'll disagree. Uh, that's definitely a correct answer. Becky, it's your pick, so... <laughs> I'll go with um, one of my personal favorites, Sherry Belafonte. I think she's everybody's personal favorite. <laughs> Sherry, here's your question. How big? How Hi, big? Peter. Hi, dear. How you doing? You look so beautiful. Dig this. Yeah. <laughs> uh, the question is, uh, how big is your forehead? <laughs> well, 
Peter, I mean, how dare you, you know? I mean, how dare you? I would never ask someone, you know, I mean, dig this. I would never ask someone how big their forehead was. All right, Peter? Well, 12 inches. 12 inches. <laughs> 12 inches. I'll agree. Oh, I'm sorry, Becky. It's actually 15 inches. <laughs> doesn't get the square. Uh, Darrell, it's your turn. Go get him. Yeah, I'll go with the D-man himself. Hi. The D-man, the incredible Dr. Dre in the house. Say, what's up, pal? Hey, what's up, man? I know you've been very busy. I heard you've had quite a few hits lately. Well, you know, I've been keeping and peeping and creeping, and I almost got popped because my people kept beeping, so it's time I made my pressure felt. Now let me creep to the mic like a phantom. What up? Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, man, look, y'all can't prove nothing on me, right, okay? Uh -huh. Can't nobody do a positive ID on me yet, man. That wasn't even my gun, G. Now, what's up up in here, huh? What's up? Are you ready for the question? Yeah, come on with it. Okay. How many times should the word bitch be used in a record? Uh-huh. Well, uh, what you mean? Single, CD cut, 12-inch, maxi dance, virgin loaf, what up? No, the single. Uh-huh. Well, it depends on the hope. Uh, 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 I mean, later. Well, take a guess. Uh, I would have to say, I'm a Ramaski. 12,715 times. That's give or take 100, money. Agree or disagree? Uh, yeah, I'll agree. Circle gets the square. All right. Yes. Yeah. Uh, okay. Uh, your turn, dear. Uh, I'll go with little Richard to black. To black. <laughs> That is the secret square. Becky uh, for the block, and we're going to Little Richard. All right. Oh, good dollar, Miss Smalling. Uh, true or false? In London, another name for cigarette is fag. You better shut up and ask me another question. All right, that's fair enough. In your hit song, Tutti Fruity, we all know Kim Fields is Tutti, but who exactly is Fruity? You're going to make me cut you in half. Uh, maybe uh, you'll like this one. I've got another question for you. Listen carefully. Other than in the movie uh, Pinocchio, movies uh, Pinocchio and, uh, and Hook, are there any other big fairies in Hollywood? <laughs> I'll have to say yes. Oh, shut up. Agree or disagree? I'll disagree. Oh, no, there are three on the panel right now that are suspect, but anyway. Uh, you should have agreed. Uh, Jarrell, you can win it right here, so go get him. Yo, I'll take Little Richard to W-I-N. Okay, listen carefully. God created the world in six days. On the seventh day, what did he do? Uh, he created rock and roll, honey, and then he stole it from me. He did, because I'm the creator, the originator of rock and roll. And you know what? He stole that burning bush out there. I was the one in the mountains burning. <laughs> he said God created the uh, rock and roll, then stole it from him. Do you agree or disagree? Uh, I'll disagree. Uh, Circle gets the square and the game. Congratulations to Durrell. It looks like you're our new champion. Hey, Kenny, tell Durrell what he's won on uh, East Hollywood stage this day. Darrell, you've won one ticket to the smash hit musical, Mama Put Down the Cornbread Cause I Wanna Sing. Thank you, stars. I'll see you here next time. Peter Marks, like, bye-bye. For more fun on the East Hollywood Fair, you look for it. Live from the inner city, it's the East Hollywood Squares with Oprah Winfrey, James Earl Jones, Bobby McFerrin, Rosie Perez, Pam Greer, Diana Ross, Martin Lawrence, Martin Lawrence's bodyguard, Willie Tyler without Lester, and now the host of East Hollywood Squares, Peter Marshall. Yes, thank you very much. Hello and welcome to the East Hollywood Squares. Hello, stars. It's good to see you. I want you to meet our players. First, Sandy Wallace. Sandy, you're a homemaker, is that right? Yes, I make homes. That's nice. Thank you. <laughs> And uh, Dennis uh, uh, Beery here, he was uh, one of the original engineers on the Santa Monica Freeway. That's nice. That's to... correct. Yes, all right. We had a little trouble recently, but we're working it out. Oh, that's, uh, that's wonderful. <laughs> I understand you won the toss backstage. That means you'll start. But first, let's show our home audience the secret square. Watch this. <laughs> all right. Now, pick a star. All right, Peter. I would like to start off with Oprah Winfrey. Hi, Oprah. Hi, Peter. <laughs> Here's your question, dear. Listen carefully. What are the ingredients, 
the ingredients of a Cobb salad. Hold on. <laughs> okay, Peter. Yeah? I'll have to say uh, lettuce. Bacon mm -hmm. and uh, mm, blue cheese and uh, hold on <laughs> avocado. Sounds yummy. Well, Dennis, you agree or disagree? I would uh, have to agree. Aha! X gets the square. All right, Sandy Wallace, it's your uh, turn to pick a star. I'd like to take Bobby McFerrin, please. All right, Bobby. <laughs> Uh, would you do me a favor and just shut up? Uh, who was the first person to sign the U.S. Constitution? Well, uh, Bobby says, well, you heard the man. Do you agree or disagree? Um, I think I disagree. Well, good for you. Circle gets the square. All righty. Now, uh, it's, uh, over to you, Dennis. I would like to try that James Earl Jones fella. Say, uh... James Earl, I, I understand you've added a, a new dimension to your uh, resume. That is correct, Peter. I have a new career as an impressionist, and I'm taking my act to Vegas. Oh, really? Uh, can we hear uh, a little of what you're going to be doing? Why, certainly. First, Tweety Bird. <coughs> I thought I'd do a putty tag. That's terrific. Can we hear something else? And now, Lucille Ball. Lucille Ball. <coughs> Ricky, I want to be in your show. Wah! Uh, Dennis, uh, could you do us a favor and pick somebody else? All righty, I would like to go up to the second tier in the beautiful Rosie Perez. Rosie Perez, okay, Rosie. Rosie, in biology, in biology, what is a bivalent? How the f*** am I supposed to know this, Peter? What do I look like to you, a f***ing rocket scientist? See what's outside and what's up to you, you think you can make me look like a f***ing idiot, you little uh, Rosie, uh, I don't write them, I just read them. We're just looking for the de definition of a bivalent. Uh, a bivalent? Yes. Okay, I'm going to say a bivalent is a pair of homologous synapse chromosomes associated together during meiosis. I disagree. <laughs> Terribly sorry. No, no, Rosie was right. Oh, oh. You didn't trust me, you stupid Take your turn and uh, pick a star. I'll go with Martin Lawrence to win. To win. <laughs> Damn! I can't believe I'm the secret square. What's up? Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. Call to call. Oh my goodness. <laughs> uh, could we hurry up with this? Because I got some place I got to be. Right. <laughs> Played the title role in the Cosby Show. The title role in the Cosby Show. Damn. <laughs> Damn. Oh, me and Gina was talking about that last night. Damn. Oh, because, you know, we got to respect our black women, you know what I'm saying? Because I be telling my bitches that all the time. Damn. Uh, <laughs> what's up? Oh, my God. Man. What's up there? Oh. Oh. Damn. Oh. I, I Damn. need a name here. A, a name. Damn. <laughs> Damn. 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 <laughs> Agree or disagree? <laughs> I'm going to have to agree. <laughs> oh, terribly sorry. Okay, Dennis, you can't give you the X. You'll have to earn that yourself. This is for all the marbles. I'm going to go back to that crazy Martin Lawrence for the win. You got it. Hey, hey, hey watch your mouth. <laughs> Name a stand-up comic. A stand-up comic with a short man's complex, ears open like uh, car doors, and three minutes of his 15 minutes of fame left. <laughs> oh, damn. Damn, you ain't right. You know, how you gonna diss a brother like Will Smith like that? What's up? Well, Martin says Will Smith. I will uh, disagree. That's a good choice. X gets the screen of the game. Thank you, stars. Thank you, ladies and gentlemen. And join us next time here for more fun on the East Hollywood Squares. Peter Marshall's waiting. Bye bye. Director is the Green Triplet, Julio White, 
Joe and Latoya Jackson, Jocelyn Elder, RuPaul, and Stedman. And now, the host of the East Hollywood Squares, Peter Marshall! Thank you, Kenny. Welcome to the East Hollywood Squares. Hello, stars. Nice to see each and every one of you. I'd like you to meet our players first, Michelle Lastman. Michelle, welcome to our show. Thank what do you do, you. dear, for a living? Oh, I, I administer enemas to constipated pets, Peter. Oh, that's nice. <laughs> Good for you. And continued success. Thank you. Yes, uh, this gentleman is Alan Stevenson. Alan, welcome to the show. What do you do, that sir? Oh, uh, my name's Alan Stevenson, and I am a test volunteer for prescription drugs and laboratories. <laughs> Thank you. Welcome to our show. Yes, now, Alan, uh, you won the Alan, uh, uh, you won the toss backstage, sir. So I want you to pick a star. I would like to begin by taking RuPaul. Oh, take me, Alan. Take me. <laughs> now, uh, RuPaul, here's the question: In the 1992 movie, The Crying Game. What is the surprise in the crying game? Surprise, Alan? Is this a trick question? There was no surprise in that film. I, 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 uh, I disagree. Good. That's right. The surprise was that the female lead, Dill, turned out to be a man, and X gets the square. Oh, wait, Alan. I knew all along that Dill had a pickle. Michelle, pick, pick a star. Yes, I'll take that cute little Urkel kid, please, Peter. Jaleel White. Yes, TV's uh, Urkel. Jaleel. <laughs> If you don't mind my saying it, Jillian, you, you, uh, you don't look so well. Well, you know, I'm going through a messy divorce, Peter. Oh. Never marry a broad you met at a strip club. I see. Well, thank you for that advice. Now, here's your question. How old are you? <laughs> I'm 14. Uh, I disagree. That's good, because Jaleel is actually, on St. Swithin's Day, will be 38. <laughs> of course I'm not 14. If you believe that, baby, I've got a timeshare at Florence and Normandy you might be interested in. Well, thank you very much. Sir, gets this Alan, back to you, sir. Oh, uh, jeez. <laughs> what a geese in here. Yeah. I will take Louis Farrakhan, please. Certainly. Welcome, Minister. Mr. Peter Marsh. Oh, no. I don't need your claps. I don't need your claps. Mr. Peter Marshall, you can save your breaths. Give me an X, uh, X right now, and I will wear it proudly. Well, Minister, we have to ask you a question first, sir. I will not have this. I will not stand for an O to be on this proud black square. See, because the O equals zero. See, it is null and it is void. Well, listen, pal, I'm not going to argue with that. Uh, X gets the square. Lucky break for you. Could have been a bad break for me. All right? Awesome. Uh, Michelle... Awesome. I'll, like him. I'll bust your ass, sir. I will bust his ass. Uh, thank you very much. Uh, let's move along here. Michelle, uh, pick a star, would you please? Uh, I'll take Michael Dorn for the win. From TV Star Trek, ladies and gentlemen, the next generation, uh, Michael. <laughs> nice to see you, Michael. And I see you're still in your makeup. What makeup do you speak of, white human? Uh, never mind. Here's your question, Michael. The Enterprise leaves Rigel 7 at the speed of warp 5. The Klingon destroyer Trog leaves Antares 4 at the speed of warp 6. Now, which craft will reach Deep Space 9 first? Hmm. I will say the Enterprise. The Enterprise. Michelle? I disagree. Correct. Circle gets the square and the game. I have been dishonored. And to a Klingon, honor is all. The only honorable solution is death. <laughs> well, that does it for this uh, session of the East Hollywood Squares. Uh, thank you, stars. Thank you, players. See you here next time for more fun on the East Hollywood Squares. I said clean that up.